Yeah, he is considered one of the most important African-American sculptors of the 20th century. Now Chicago native Richard Hunt can add another honor to his stellar career, a special commissioned request from none other than former President Barack Obama. CBS 2's Asal Razai shows us the unique work. Richard Hunt considers himself lucky to do what he loves every day. I'm glad that I was able to make a career actually out of uh, 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 make a career out of making sculpture. Hunt grew up on Chicago's South Side. His passion for art goes back as far as he can remember, eventually leading him to the Junior School of the Art Institute of Chicago in the 1950s. From there, his love for sculpting took off and continues to this day. Get up and go into the studio and paint or sculpt and, uh, uh, you, you know, uh, do what you can to to um, uh, make people, you know, familiar and knowledgeable about what it is you're doing. At 86 years old, Hunt has almost too many career achievements to count, from dozens of prestigious awards to sculptures not only across the city of Chicago, like the famous Ida B. Wells National Monument, but at the Smithsonian and major museums all over the world. No matter where his pieces end up, his studio has remained here in Chicago's Lincoln Park since 1971. While the art here is remarkable, the studio space is even more unbelievable. It used to be a Chicago Railway System's electrical substation in the early 1900s. Here's a model of his latest sculpture, a historic piece, as Hunt has been chosen by former President Barack Obama to contribute a piece to his new library. I have been a, a huge admirer of your work for a long time, and Michelle has as well. Hunt says the actual statue will weigh a few hundred pounds. It feels good. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad they came to me instead of somebody else. <laughs> and uh, you know, you know, looking forward to seeing this. You know, uh, nine feet tall and uh, uh, sitting in front of the library. And when I asked Hunt how long he plans to keep building his art. Well, I would say as long as I'm alive. Um, uh, that seems to be about as far as I could go, but, but it's not like I'm going to retire. With no plans for retirement, Hunt plans to continue sculpting a legacy he knows his city is proud of. Asal Razai, CBS 2 News. An artist is never finished. No, mm -hmm. an inspiration.